Hey guys, this is Zach with Next Tech News. In today's episode three of my new series called Tech Questions. Today's question is what is the difference between wireless in and wireless AC? Ado 211 in came out in 2007. At that time, the iPhone 1 was just being released, and Netflix had just started its video streaming service. Plus, households at that time only averaged one Wi-Fi device. 802.11n wasn't able to account for what we do today. It wasn't built with what our needs are today. Today we do streaming, we have multiple devices, we have all sorts of new connected devices throughout your house, not just cell phones and laptops and stuff like that, but even now connected fridges and connected speakers and connected switches and connected light bulbs. We literally have everything and it all connects to the Wi-Fi. N was never created with that in mind and doesn't ha handle well when you're using multiple devices. 802.11ac on the other hand came out in 2013 and was created with all of our day-to-day -day usage in mind. It's built so that it works best with streaming, best with multiple devices, best for range, all that kind of thing. Wireless AC can be more than three times as fast as wireless N. However, speeds are determined by your internet provider. Wireless AC has similar range to wireless N. However, at the same distances, you get much better speed with wireless AC. This is because wireless AC has a technology called beamforming. Beamforming is a new technology that allows the router to know where a device is in correlation with itself and aim the signals in that direction. Wireless N, on the other hand, just sent the signals out in every direction, just like a rock dropping into a pond. Here's a real world test proving the benefits of beam forming with an N300 made by Netgear and an AC1750 made by Netgear. So as you can see at the router, the AC1750 was the closest to the 50 megabits per second that I get through Cox. As I got further and further away, the AC1750 stayed relatively close to that 50 megabits per second, all the way to the point where I got to 200 yards away, and then it finally dropped down a little bit more. The N300 on the other hand, the second I stepped even 15 feet away, dropped by half the speed, and kept dropping more and more as I got further away to the point where I was still connected to the router because the range is pretty decent, However, I wasn't getting any speed at that range. Wireless N has a technology called MIMU. MIMU stands for Multiple Input and Multiple Output. MIMU allows for multiple antenna to send information back and forth between devices to increase coverage and speed. However, if multiple people are on at once, the router can only send information to one device at a time. Wireless AC introduced a new version of MIMU called Multiple User MIMU or Moo MIMU. Moo MIMU fixed that issue by allowing the router to send information to multiple users at once. I hope you guys learned something about wireless AC and wireless N. I hope you liked this video as well. This channel is really starting to grow and I'm glad to see where it's going. If you like this video, please click that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. This is Zach with Next Tech News. See ya!